Meanwhile, India's backroom decision maker Rahul Gandhi has written to the Prime Minister suggesting that private firms should be involved in taking forward the UP's flagship employment guarantee program, a move that would ease the government's social sector bill. Mayushekhar Jha has this exclusive. It's four years since the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act came into existence. And even as its success is being debated, the government is busy setting the next stage by looking to involve the private sector. And sources say Congress MP Rahul Gandhi is leading the charge to bring this change. The Ministry of Rural Development has already started the groundwork for involvement of the private sector in the program and is looking at offering tax shops as the incentive to attract private sector in participating in the program. They had the pain that migration and the poor, rural poor has to get employment at, at in that time. And now when we are having an idea that private, private sector also wants to be part of it, this can be thought over it and government has to take that right decision. Jobs under NREGA are mostly generated by infrastructure work such as construction of roads, power plants, dams and irrigation projects. Most companies, including L&T, Punj Lloyd, Reliance Infrastructure and GMR, are already working across these projects in some rural areas and are also employing the local youth. And tax ops would come as a significant benefit to them. However, in the recent past, the program has attracted some criticism, mainly on the premise that it's more based on a system of doles, which is not sustainable in the long run. Creation of jobs for youth in the rural areas is Rahul Gandhi's pet project. Schemes like Narega have helped Congress generate a goodwill across the country and the government obviously now wants to take it to the next level. Involvement of the private sector will be a win-win for all stakeholders. In New Delhi, Mayur Shekhar Chha, NDT.